welcome today this lovely our event that we do here every day live at 12 o'clock once a week we're going to talk about how to trade today's volatile markets we had a fabulous week with earnings announcements there have been some really good winners but the most importantly it's not about the winners it's about controlling the losers and how to know if you're on the wrong side and most and then also most important how to follow the big orders now uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody that came from Metastock last night um, to show up today. So we're going to actually pick up where we left off from yesterday. And for the ones that were not here, that's okay, because we're going to start all over again. Um, we're going to go on for about 45 minutes. So, and it's going to be, it's going to go very, very fast. Okay. I promise you that you're going to see things that are going to blow your mind. And I think everyone here is going to realize that when you see what I'm about to show you, a lot of you have been trading backwards. I mean, literally, I've been doing this for 30 years. I love what I do, but teaching all of you how to do it on your own is better. And not only that, but I'm going to invite every one of you to come and see us live. And I'm going to do some live trades. So everything I show you, you're going to see for a whole week. But really quick little, uh, little risk disclaimer before we continue. Um, just to let you know that I'm not making any guarantees or warranties. Um, it varies student to student. So please be very smart before you go out there and make your trade in today's volatile markets. Now, this is what we're going to cover. All right, we're going to cover um, how to identify stocks that do breakouts. We're also going to talk about how to use NASDAQ Book Viewer, level three, which I call. We're going to talk about level four. Some people are like, what the hell is level three and level four? <laughs> You're going to see, it's going to blow your mind. Um, we're going to also talk about how do we predict upcoming stock movers, how we find these stocks, and obviously price action on how these things uh, with algorithms, high frequency trades, dark pools, all those things that you hear about, that's going to show you how to follow 70% of the movers out there. Now, before we go out there, I just want to show you, uh, I just want to get to the actual market really quick right here. And um, there were quite a few stocks that did move today. And I want to just go over a few of them. Um, first of all, I don't know if everyone saw Roku. All right. Roku had a really, really big move this morning. You can see it had good earnings. Look at this move on Roku. By the way, did anyone trade Roku? Anyone anyone trade Roku here or saw what happened this morning? The stock went from 69.50 all the way to 78. Nobody here traded Roku. Okay. Kurt, you didn't. Um Paul, you did. Judy, um, AI also saw. We're going to look at that one too. But let's think about this for a sec. There were a lot of stocks that were moving. Why did this stock go up? What drove this stock to go up? That's what we want to talk about. So I want to show you something really quick. I'm not going to, I don't want, I want to jump to the end of our presentation to get you all excited what to expect. I'm going to show you exactly how we read it. Now, the question I have for all of you is this. Does anybody know why Roku went up? I'm just going to test everyone's knowledge. I want all of you guys to get involved. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't be embarrassed. Nobody can read anybody's chat. Okay. But don't let me call you out. Brian, Goodman, Calvin, Shine, Line, you know, all of you guys. Big money. Edward says buyers, Robert says big, so large orders. People wanted to buy it, earnings. Okay, well, you know what's funny? You all, a lot of you came up with the right answer, okay? It's all about buying and selling, right? Now, let's think about this for a second because this is what's going to get you excited about you, what you're going to learn. How much we would have, if you knew you were able to see buyers at 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30, knew that there were buyers out there, okay? How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made on all the stocks that you traded today? Think about it. What really, what tells you no, what, what's, what's to say you know more than BlackRock or Goldman Sachs or the algorithms? Wouldn't, you, wouldn't it be nice to know where 70% of the buyers are? Well, I'm going to show you, okay? And not only am I going to show you, I'm going to show you what's going on right here. Look, what you're looking at is a heat map and you're seeing all buyers and sellers out here. Look at this big red line up here around $80. See that red line right there? There's a 46,000 share seller. 
that's waiting in the wings wants to get out at 80. Do you have a game plan to get out at 80? Okay, because owning it from 69, knowing that you're going to be dealing with a big seller at 80, how much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made? Okay, how about Coinbase? Coinbase had a big run up today, right? Big, big run. Let me uh, get some more data here. Do you know that there is a 5,000 share seller right around uh, 94.50? All right. I mean, that doesn't sound like a lot, not as much as we saw before, but like, you know what? I got some more to show you. Okay. Let this, uh, let this data add up and oops, just waiting for it to load up here. A lot of data on, uh, Coinbase. Coin actually is coming out earnings this, um, at the close today. So really excited about that one. Uh, almost there. Okay. Okay. Oh, still adding more data. Okay, there we go. All right. So look at the look what's happening right here. At at eighty four dollars, there's a big seller out there. He's been out there since nine thirty this morning. Right? What happened when we got to eighty four dollars? Did he go higher? No, it didn't. Not only is there a big seller at 84, but there's a 40,000 share seller at 85. Do you have a game plan knowing that you're going to be coming up to a 40,000 share seller at 85? Okay. How about this? If you get past 85, let's just say someone decides, I want to buy the 40,000 shares. Do you know that there's another 42,000 share seller at 98, at 89? Not at 86. Not 87 or 88, but at 89. How much smarter and better swing trades, options trades, and more importantly, day trades you would made by knowing that? That's day trading at its best because that's why we love the game of trading. You have to know how to play the game. But when you look at a chart like Coinbase, and if you want to go out there and add your Moving average, your stochastics, your RSI, your Bollinger Band, um, maybe a MACD, you know? And if this could help you figure that out, I don't know about you, but I'm I'm not more concerned about mathematicians who invented indicators. I'm more I'm more concerned about where is that high frequency trade? Where are those big buyers? That's what we're gonna learn. Now, who here wants to know more about this? Who here wants to know how to start? forgetting about learning what you taught in the past and starting to learn how to read the future. Good. Did I hope, I'm glad because I hope I got everyone's attention because this is why, you know, I've been a 12 time champion at the traders expos at the money shows. I went up against every school. I've been to China. I've been to, you know, Canada. I've been all over the U S all right. I've been to Europe. I competed against every school in the industry. I beat every school. Now, why is that? Because the difference between everyone else and here at Cybertrain University is that I'm a market maker. I live here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. And the reason, the, and listen, when you think of New York, you think of the financial industry, okay? When I think of California, I think of movies. When I think of Italy, I think of good Italian food, okay? But I don't think about the stock market, you know, in, in Paris, okay? It all starts here. Some of the biggest traders live in my town, all right, where I live. And I could tell you this, you are not going to beat them, but you can join them. And that's okay, because we're just trying to get the ants, which with the ants on the floor, we're just trying to get the crumbs. And that's what we're going to focus on. And that's why I started the first, edu well, one of the first schools 30 years ago and still here today. And now what? I, and that's why that article was written up with me and a couple of friends on the left hand side on Forbes magazine. A bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. Yeah, I was a kid. I started when I was twenty two years old. I'm fifty two now, and I still do. Uh, and I run one of the most popular, the most brand name educational schools in the industry. And not only that, but I'm also the author of How to Beat Market Makers at Their Own Game. I'm going to give every single one of you a copy of my book. Just sticking around at the end. All right.
I am also a regular speaker at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ, I'm going to be there next week. We'll let you all welcome to watch us. Watch me live. NASDAQ wants you to know how to trade the market. Okay. I am actually um, one of their uh, uh, speakers that helped teach you how to trade on level three. Now, some of you, I don't know if you have even looked at level three, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about level three, level four. But the better and smarter you know how to trade, the more trades you do, the more money the exchanges make. That's why they want you to learn. So what I'm looking to do today is this, okay? For everyone that's here, I am looking to get some of you to be part of my family. You see all those people in that picture? I'm hoping that some of you here are going to want to be one of them. Because to be a successful trader, you got to have a successful team. A lot of you here don't qualify to trade. And let's, let's, and let's be honest, that's okay. You know, you don't want to go to the doctor and he's going to say, oh, yeah, you, oh, doc, I, I have a little, you know, I'm getting some uh, heartburn. Oh, you need, you got to get a heart transplant. Okay. Heart transplant. I just got some, you know, some heartburn. What does that have to do about getting a heart transplant? Listen, I'm not here to make money off you. Okay. Like some other people would. I'm here to look for people to be part so we can work together like a team. But to do that, you got to listen to me carefully because you got to see if this is for you or not. And that's the, uh, uh, the whole thing about trading. So let's talk about what happened this month. We had a big correction in the market. The market took a very, very big hit. You, see, um, you saw what Bernanke said. He didn't raise interest rates again, thank God, okay? But we had a lot of earnings. Some are good, some are great, some are bad, okay? We saw what's happening with the war. Um, we, we see what's happening. We're going into an election year. As a trader, we don't get political. We don't take things personal, okay? We are here for one reason and one reason only. And that is to make a career of trading and to make money and not to lose it, okay? But there are opportunities every day to go out there and trade. Let me just show you a couple of things that happen in the market, okay? Here's a photograph. I don't know if anyone here is subscribed to our, uh, our Twitter, our Instagram, specifically our YouTube channel. If you have not done that already, please like us, friend us, subscribe to it. We post every day. We give you we give you tips of the day, as in watch lists, what's going on in the market, everything. But our goal is we don't tell you what to buy or sell. We teach you how to think for yourself, and that's the big difference. But we did a um, we did a post right here, and you could see this is a nice little image of what's going on in the market, what's coming out with earnings, everything like that. So we'll start off talking about Pinterest. Okay, so Pinterest had a really really big move. I don't know if anyone here cares for Pinterest. I don't know if you like Pinterest, hate it, love it. You know, I used it, you know, but just because I used it in the past doesn't mean I'm going to be like, oh, I love it. I got to buy it. But you know what? It had good earnings um, this week. And you could see it had a really nice run. It ran from 28 to 29. Now, the key here is what you have to look is this, okay? Um, I want to do a quick poll. And my poll is this. Um, my poll is here we go let me say, let me know if this is launching is what kind of trader are you are you a stock trader an options trader futures forex so if everyone's got a you see the little poll coming up there can everyone just fill that out really quick and i want to share that with us i want to see how everyone you know it's always nice to be involved in a poll right you can you hear about these polls on tv all the time like nobody called me and they asked me for my opinion well now you can all right so let's see how we all figure that out uh, Jeff has a good question. He goes, can you discuss uh, when you know how to spot price breakouts through large orders beforehand? Yes, Jeff, we're going to cover that. Great question. All right. So um, I, I can't sit here all day waiting. So if you haven't, I'm going to close it, close it out. I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to share it. So it looks like we have a lot of stock traders and options traders. Okay. So let me explain something to you really quick. All right. Don't take this personal. You want to be a good options trader? You damn well better learn how to be a good stock trader first because it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. So how do you know what option to trade if you don't even know what the stock's doing? And please don't tell me you're trading options because of the leverage, okay? That is a poor man playing a rich man's game. It is five to 10 times harder to trade the option than just to trade the stock. But I know why a lot of people like the word options because they can't afford the stock, which is a misconception because there are a lot of stocks you could trade, you just were never taught how to find them. And we're gonna talk about that. 
if you want to be a good swing trader, okay? Well, how do you know what to swing trade if you don't know what's happening over the course of the day? All right? So, and it, it becomes harder. If you're a futures trader, a Forex trader, okay? Listen, I'm not a jack of all trades, okay? I, I'm, I'm actually a professional day trader. I like to day trade because I make my money for the day. I can sleep at night. I can go out and take care of my chickens and, you know, do my gardening and go spend time with my family and stuff like that. I don't worry about it. But I do do some swing trades. But my first priority is always to look to make a day's trade because it's those day trades that help me find those swing trades or maybe do that options trade. But if you're a Forex or, or, or a future trader, let me just tell everybody this before we uh, before we continue. If you're doing something for more than two to three months, and if you're not making money or seeing progression on your trading, you have two problems. Number one, you probably had a bad teacher. Or two, it's not your style. That's it. If anyone here is trading more than three to six months and you're not making money doing it, you're wasting your time. It's like hiring somebody. Somebody's working for you and after three months and he's not making you any money, you're going to still pay him? You know what I mean? He shows up late. He doesn't come to work. He just can't figure it out. You're training him. You know how hard it is to find people. Even some of you colleagues that are working for you, you see why people get fired or, or get have to let go. So trading is no different. We treat it, we treat it like a business. So let's get back to the slides. Slow fi, another big runner up. Um, hold on, let me get my crayons here so you guys can follow along. There we go. So you can see SoFi, big run up. Look over here, 931 to almost 11 o'clock. Look at that big, nice move. $7 to $7.50, 50 cents, 1,000 shares, 500 bucks. Amazon came out earnings, a lot more expensive, but nice little move. Intel, another one, just over and over and over again. Lots of big volatility because of all the earnings that are out here. But this is what we like to trade. Stocks like IBRX, which you probably never heard of. Here's a stock that went from $1.20 all the way to 350, literally up almost two, 300% in four days. IBRX, look at this stock, right at the gate, goes from $1.40 to 220. Now, when you look at a stock like this, did you need to trade an option? Oh, I can't afford it. You know, I, I can't afford uh, Amazon. Okay, well, what's wrong with IBRX? Okay. A lot cheaper, a lot more controllable, less time frame to trade it. You bought a thousand shares of that stock. If you made five, 50 cents on 500 shares, that's a hundred thousand dollars salary. I don't think anyone has a problem with that. Okay. Because that's what trading is all about. And it kept going higher and higher and higher every day. So why are we here? Well, because 90% of the people fail in trading. Why would anybody here would want to get involved in a business where there's a 90% failure rate? Well, I'll tell you why. You're not part of the 90% failure rate. You know why? Because you're here today. Most people are ignorant. They want to go out there. They say, ah, oh, let me try it on my own. Let me watch a couple of YouTube videos. What do I need to listen to Fausto and Cybertrain University? Yeah, no problem. You know what? Good luck. Go figure it out and we'll still be here. Okay. That is about 90% of the failure rate. You right now, just to let you know, in this group are probably with the 40 to 50% failure rate, which is not that bad, believe it or not. You got a 50-50 chance, you know, just being here today to make yourself succeed. Okay. So that's how I do my statistics on figure it out. Now, how could you be part of not the 50% failure rate, well, that's what we're going to be talking about now, okay? Because that is going to determine if you're ready to go to that next level. And the next level is how to follow the money. So how to avoid people from failing and not being a failure? Well, before you focus on making money, you got to focus on one, one very important thing. Um, it's all about, hold on, I'll, I'll turn that off for you. Okay, so what's important for all of you is you not have to focus on making money. You have to focus on stop losing it first. You see, I always tell everyone losing is a good thing. It's like, what? Losing? How's that good? I'll tell you why it's a good thing. You're going to lose in trading. 
It's part of the game. You know what I mean? Listen, can you get into an accident in a car? It's it's a risk you're taking. The goal is to learn not to get into an accident. Okay. And trading, it's it's a numbers game. The way you learn from making money in trading is you have to learn why did you lose money so you don't do that again. And that's really what our focus is. Okay. Well, finding the winners are easy. I'll, I'll show you where we find them. It's the losers we got to focus on. And let me tell you how we prevent that from happening. Okay. Number one, no overnights. Look what happened to this poor fella. Stock was at 108, opens up at $60 the next morning, a 50% failure rate. Ever happened to anybody? Why? Because some people just don't want to take a loss. They says, maybe they'll come back tomorrow. Maybe they'll come back the day after that. Next thing you know, they keep building a loser to a loser to a loser. So rule number one, unless you're doing it to design, no overnights. Cardinal rule number two, no averaging down. That is the other big mistake that people make. So those are really the two tips I want to give you right now. Okay, you want to succeed in trading? Unless you do it into design, don't trade it. Now, to be the uh, to to be uh, to best understand this, I like to ask everybody a simple question. Okay, why do we always focus on the past? Because everyone just answer that question. Why is so many people so focused on charting and what happened five minutes? last month, last year. Okay, Kurt says it's easy to see. Anyone else? Just curious, anyone else? Andy, I didn't hear from you. Omara, what about you? Bell, Brian, James, Fuller, what about you? Uh, can back test what you want, Kurt saying, okay. Looking for a pattern, Alex is mentioning. Okay, good. Stuart says all we got. <laughs> I'm glad that's a great. I'm glad you said that, Stuart. No, that's not, because today it's going to change. All right, because history has always had a way of repeating itself. But it, the, Damon, it's not indicative of the future. The past is not always indicative of the future. So, this is what we're going to talk about. What we need to look on is the future, and the future is just because you saw what was in the past. The only way you could repeat the past is whatever was in the past has to be in the future, okay? So what we're going to talk about right now is something called level three and level four. Now, I want to do another poll. Um, and my poll is this. Do you have access to level three quotes? So let me do a quick poll and see how you guys answer this question. Just wait for everyone to answer this question and see how it goes. Listen, don't be scared to answer the question. No one's going to yell at you. No one's going to embarrass you. You're better off being honest with yourself right now than not, you know, than not answering at all. All right. Because you need to see how you compare to everyone else. All right. So now remember what I told you. Trading is about a 90 for 80 percent failure rate. I'm going to end the poll and I'm going to share the results. Look how many of you said no. 74%. 26% yes. So let's talk about it. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting. All right. So I need your full attention right now because what you're about to see is going to be extremely um, disturbing because you're going to realize that everyone who ever taught you or what you've been doing has been the totally opposite and backwards. Now, how can I honestly say that? Because I was there 30 years ago when I finally raised up, raised up the white flag and says, you know what? Um, I'm like, how could anyone even trade without knowing this? Okay. And the reason, and I could almost guarantee everyone's going to say the same thing when I'm all said and done. Why are not more people teaching this? And I'm just going to answer you ahead right now. Because they're not traders. They never were a market maker. They were gym teachers. They were anal mathematicians. You know, there was some, somebody just, just got lucky during COVID. OK, you want to learn from traders here. We're going to learn it. So let me show you how things work. What are you looking on the left hand side? Let me get my crayons out here. And uh, let me draw some let me draw some stuff here. OK, uh, OK. All right. Right here. We're looking at NASDAQ book view. We got buyers. 
and we got sellers. So we got three columns, okay? One, two, three. The column right here is the buyers. Column right here too is the amount of shares that somebody's looking to buy at that price. And that third column right there in column one, those are orders, okay? Those are people of how many shares, um, how many orders make up those shares. Now, whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy stock for less money is down here at the bottom. Same thing for the sell side. Whoever wants to sell for sell their shares for the least amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their shares for more money down at the bottom. So what you're seeing is a negotiated market. That's how NASDAQ started. So you're seeing every order out there of every person that wants to trade Peloton, what they want to buy it for, what they want to sell it for. And guess what? If you have direct access, which we'll talk about when you come join my trading room, you'll be able to see your order out here. Okay. Yeah. I, Robert, yes, I call book viewer level three. Okay. Now let me clear this out and let's go, let's have some fun seeing how we utilize this. So here we're looking at a stock, uh, um, RDFM. And you could see it was at $5 and it took a huge hit and it went all the way down to a price of $4.25, uh, right around that two o'clock. And then it went right back up to $4.75. Now, this is the question you have to ask yourself. Why did the stock stop at $4.25? Why didn't it stop at $4.60? Why not stop? Why not go down to four? Why four twenty five? Well, the answer is right in front of you. When you look over here on the exchange, meaning you have like a seat on the exchange, because that's basically what you're looking at. There are two orders out there: one at sixty nine thousand at four thirty, and another sixty seven thousand at four twenty five. You're literally talking about what? About close to I don't know, about almost a 140,000 shares, okay, looking to be bought right between 425 and 430. Now, I don't know about you, but if I had to guess where there is a lot of buyers, it would probably be there. Not at the 454, not at the 440, not at the 420, uh, 433, but it would be right between those two numbers. And guess what? When it hit that buyer, it shot right up. Now, mo this is where a lot of people make a mistake. We're always looking for supports and resistance levels, right? Remember, I just asked you a question. I said, why do people focus on the past too much? Because you're thinking that it's in, it, it, it's, it obviously should predict the future. Well, regardless what the past told you, unless those same orders that were in the past are in the future, which is what you see here, you cannot have support. Support, fellow traders, does not exist unless you have those buyers, okay? You need buyers to make support. You don't need support to make buyers, and that's where everyone makes their big mistake. Now, let's look at resistance. Here's a stock, nice little run, goes from like the 16.30, goes all the way up right around one o'clock, stops around 17, and then comes back down. Why did it go to 17? Why didn't it go to 18? Why didn't it go to 17.10? Why did it get right over there around 17 and started to decide to go down? Well, okay, the reason for it is that right here, if you look at level, uh, if you look at the book viewer, right here, oops, let me try you could see there's a 67,000 share seller, which is right here. So, you know what? You got 800 share sellers, 1,000 shares, 500. Remember, you're looking for resistance. The only way you're going to find resistance is to find those sellers. No matter what you're drawing out there, without those sellers, you don't have resistance. Now, Quick question, did I lose anybody yet? Just give me a yes or no. Anyone get lost? Not yet, <laughs> okay. Doing okay, Kurt, thank you very much. You're still here, Jody, thanks.
Please continue, Mark was saying. Oh, Mark, we got a lot more. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God, it's already 1235. Did I tell you time's going to be flying? And we're at slide. We're almost halfway there, but we'll, we might go a little bit over. I think you guys are enjoying it. Listen, if you guys are having a good time, I'm having a good time. I'm just happy everyone's learning and, and figuring this out. That's good. All right. So let's move on. Uh, okay, let me get my point. There we go. All right. So let's go over a few trades that we did this week. So PLTR. Okay, PLTR went from 15 down to, you know, you can see here, 14.50. Now, in theory, in theory, <laughs> Dennis, thank you very much. Marco, thanks for the thumbs up. I um, appreciate it. Where do we buy it? You ever own a stock and it's going down? You're like, oh my God, what do I do? The thing's going down. How do I, what do I get out? I mean, listen, do we sell it now? I mean, like that's a pretty big loss in a short period of time. What, what do we need? What do we need for the stock to stop to go down? What do we need? Do we sell it now? What do we do? Do we look back and see what Mr. Fibonacci said? Do we look and see what, uh, what, what Shankin told us? Do we go back to that newsletter that they told us, oh, PLTR is, gonna, is going back to, 14, uh, to $30. What do we do? What do we do? Exactly, John. Exactly, Mike. You got to find the buyers, right? So let's go look and see what's going on in the NASDAQ exchange. Let's, let's have a look at the seat on the exchange. So we need buyers, right? Okay, so we look down here and we'll notice that we got some buyers of 56000 right around that $14.45. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but like, we're about 25 cents away. So yes, can you take get out now or wait until you get down at, at 45 cents? Because like it or not, it's going to 45 cents. 2,000 shares, 5,000 shares are not going to support it. 56,000, that's going to support it. And guess what? If you see what happened, the stock did hit that price. It went up. It hit it again. Didn't want to break it. And it went right up that 14 45 and shot right back up to 1480. Now, don't tell me this never happened to you before. Okay. I know it happened to almost every single one of you that you want to trade and like, damn it, why didn't I hold on to it? And then sure enough, thing bounces back because you were not watching them. That's the problem. All right. Let's go check out Pinterest. Here's a stock that's going up. Right now, what's the game plan? The game plan is I gotta make, I gotta take a profit. But sometimes we get greedy, you know. And sometimes we're like, we keep pushing that envelope, keep pushing it. Like maybe it'll go higher. It's only market's been opening up for we're at 10, 10, 16. I got all day. I think it's going higher. Okay, that's it's possible. It could do that. But you got one problem. You got a ninety one thousand share seller. You're coming up at thirty bucks, and. Unless it gets through those 76 orders out there, I don't think it's getting past 30. And guess what? Didn't pass it. And you were stuck on it all day. So ever wonder when you're watching and like, I don't understand, why is the stock just hitting, holding here? It's just hovering. It's just not going lower or going higher. It's just hovering here because of that one order out there. Now, I'm going to keep repeating myself over and over and over again. And it's a reason for it, because I want it to sink in your head. How much smarter and better trading decisions if you were able to see those orders out there, stocks that you were in, knowing that you're in a stock right now coming up to that big order? You know? <laughs> Dame's laughing out loud. Listen, now, who here would like to get the book viewer? Who here wants to know how to start using it? Because I'm going to tell you something right now. Let me put my email address, okay? Um, all right. So all you have to do is email me. I'll be happy to give it to you. So take it on. So let me explain something to you really quick. And I'm just curious for my own satisfaction, my own my own curiosity. Um, what would you pay for this? What's like, I mean, what is it? What, 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 what is it? What would you pay for something like this? Just out of curiosity. Because when I started to have this seat on a New York Stock Exchange was several million dollars. Now, some of you are like, I don't got seven million dollars. 
Okay. When I started, for me to get this data at 22 years old, 30 years ago, I had to pay $1,000 a month. $1,000. Guess what? It's not $1,000 anymore. Okay. It's not a thousand. It's not free. But what would you pay for it? Would you pay a hundred dollars for it? I'm just curious. Is, is it worth paying a hundred to see where 50% of the volume in a stock is? Okay. Jeff says, sure. Mike says, absolutely. Bill says it's priceless. All right. How about it's not a hundred. It's not 50. Okay. It's not even 20. It's $15. Would you pay 15 bucks for it? Would you pay $15 to be able to have it? Yeah? Okay. Take my email address and I'll tell you where to get it. Because before we tell you where to find it on their website, I want you to watch one of our videos so you know how to set it up. Okay? Uh, no, it's not like in a Bloomberg terminal. No, Robert. It's a little bit different. Bloomberg doesn't do Bloomberg doesn't have, uh, unless you subscribe to it. This is right. By the way, this is not Fausto software. This is actually a seat on the exchange. You're going to see all the orders on the exchange. Now, this is what blows my mind. Why would nobody in the business of trading would ever not buy a seat on the exchange to see where the orders are? I mean, I live, yes, you do have, you have access in Canada, Susan. Absolutely. Why would you not want, like, why would you not want that? I, I still can't figure it out today. You're in the trading business. It's like everybody wants to drive a car, but nobody wants to pay for the gas. Okay. Could you imagine going to a dealer and saying, oh, this is a nice car. Um, you know, um, I got to put gas in it. You know, I got I to I gotta pay for that. And like, well, listen, if you can't afford the gas, you can't afford the car. So you just go stick back with your public transportation. If you can't afford this, you should not be trading. And please don't take it in a bad way. I'm a little brash sometimes. I might get in your face, but I'd rather be very honest with you than sit there and pat you in the back and tell you, don't worry about it. It'll be, it'll be okay tomorrow. I was never taught that way because I'm I, when I started, I was trading someone else's money. And you think they want me to say, you know, oh, don't worry about losing all my money. We'll, I'll give you more tomorrow. No, it doesn't work like that. All right. So anyway, let's move on. You think level three is good? I'm going to talk about level four now. There is something a little bit more advanced than that. Okay. So let's go into level four. Now, what's nice about level four is that you're going to get everything that you see in level three, but now you're going to see it on what's called a heat map. You're going to see how long he's been out there. You're going to see if he added to the position. You're going to also... Um, it's also going to aggregate other exchanges because there are more exchanges than just NASDAQ. By the way, I know a lot of you guys have questions in here. We do have staff. Just follow the questions. There are like Alex and Dana. Um, I see you guys are asking and they'll, they, you know, I guess I'm very short for time. So I know people have to go soon. So they'll help answer those questions. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to show you a little bit more on a more of a visual on a heat map. So let's go look at some stocks, how they bounced off support levels and resistance. So here we're looking at SoFi. Okay, SoFi went from $7, went to $7.50. Now it's back down to $7.30. Okay, now what I want to show you is this. You see right here, um, right around $7.30, there was a 90,000 share buyer out there. Now you could see that there are buyers at four, $7.40, $7.50, $7.60. But you'll notice that there was a the, the line got very dark right around at 730 because it was a 90,000 share buyer out there. Well, what ends up happening is when that when you got to that big buyer 790, now you have other sellers out there. It bounced because of that big block order out there. That's the reason why. And if you knew that order was out there, then you would probably know why the stock went up. So what do you think happens next? More buyers show up. Here's INOQ. It starts bouncing right around a support level around 15. There's a buyer out there, and then there's more buyers out there. Let's see if the stock how it reverses on resistance. AMD goes up. What happens when AMD comes up to 107,000 share seller out there? I don't know. What do you think? Well, he's been out there since 1130. We're at one o'clock. 
Every time it hit, it hit at 12, it came back down. Hit him at 12, it came back down. All right? Well, guess what? It could hit all you want. But if that seller keeps showing up and you got all those big block orders out there, it's not going to go higher. It's not going to go higher, fellow traders, because it's those big block orders, even on brand name stocks, that can prevent it from doing that. Now, what we're going to do right now, let's go back to the live market. Now, I want to go back to that stock we saw earlier. What did we saw earlier? Coinbase, right? Let's go to coin. All right. So here's coin. Remember I said we had that big seller out there at 85? This stock started this morning at 81. And it hit a seller around 82, hit another seller right around 83. And you could see basically it, it took him out. But, the you know, and listen, it wasn't a 50,000 share. Maybe it was, let me see, how many shares was that? Let me move this over here. Uh, 20,000. It was 20,000. You see the difference right here? What I'm doing is I'm zooming left to see where that order is because he's not there anymore. All right. So now you got 50,000. You got that 40,000. So now you have a little bit of a game plan where that resistance level is. Let's go back to Roku. Roku, since 930 this morning, you have this big seller hovering around $80, okay, for 40,000 shares. Now, we had a couple of sellers here, you know, earlier on, but the real big significant seller is sitting right here. And not only that, but you notice how it got a lot darker and redder? The reason why that is, is because he added to his position. So that's a pretty substantial resistance levels. Now, you might think that, Oh, maybe, you know, um, 80, it's a whole number, you know, it's high eight in the Jewish religion. I don't know. People have all these superstitions or whatever reasonings. It has nothing to do with it. it. Has to do with that big order out there. That's all it has to do with it. Okay. Now, what I like to do is this. Um, I want to pick a stock from some of you here. Any stock. Give me a stock. And I'm going to look it up. And let me just open. Oops. Give me a stock and I'm going to basically kind of help some people out here. Uh, so hold on a second. Open screen. Trying to get all those indicators out. Okay. So let me see what you got. Tesla. Okay. So what I need to do is um, just give me a second here. Uh, Tesla is a really popular stock. And uh, let me just clear this out. I just want to, because I got to load up the data on Tesla. All right. Okay, here's Tesla. Okay. So I'm going to bring up the data on Tesla. We're going to check it out. All right, so Tesla is going up. Now the question is, you own Tesla. It's going higher. What's your game plan? Where's your resistance levels? Do you know? Does anyone here know? Where's your game plan to get out of Tesla? Car Carol, that that I mean, I assume you own it. So Stacy, you said Tesla, right? Where's resistance levels? Any idea? Nobody has an idea. No one has any any clue where resistance level on Tesla is. 175. You mean 275, 250. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Well, let's just look at this right here. Um, for some reason, the stock started this morning and had a really nice move. At 9.30, ran from 2.11, and it's kind of holding here since, I don't know, 11 o'clock, right? What number is that, give or take? What, 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 what number is that? What number is that? Anyone can tell me? What's that resistance today's high? Uh, about, yeah, Joe, around 2.17.80, right? Maybe 2.18, okay. Um, did you realize there was a seller out there? 
at 218. See it there for 33,000. Never want to let go. And when I go back in history, I go a little bit further. You see that the seller is out there. He's been out there since before 12 o'clock. I'm just curious. I'm only looking at an hour. Let me go back a little bit further. Let me get more data on this. Let's load this up. Let's see what we got going on here. Did you know that there was a 45,000 share seller at 219? Some of you are, or Kurt, you already picked 220. Rosie's already at 279. Rosie, I mean, we're at two, right now we're at 218. To go to 279, you know, what do you, I mean, like it could happen, but to get there, you got to get through these numbers first. You see what I'm saying? So let me just load up some more data because I need to go back. I want to go back when we opened up this morning. I'm only showing a, uh, an hour. Usually these stocks take a little bit more data. Uh, okay, we're almost there. Usually this never happens when you have it. It's just that some of these stocks, um, some of these stocks that have a lot of, uh, that trade a lot of volume take a little more time. All right, so I'm going to go back. Now, 220, there's a 123,000 share seller out there, okay? And he's been out there since this morning. See that right there? So look at those lines. 219, 220 is the real big order, all right? I'm going to go back in history. Anybody do any swing trades? So not really seeing any other orders out there other than this 220. So... 220, when I look over here and I draw my trend line at 220, which is right here, yeah, I could say that's that's resistance, right? Look at that. You got resistance levels there. You got support levels there. You got resistance levels there. And we're pretty much right there. Kind of makes sense, right? How much smarter and better trading decisions would you have made if you knew that big seller was out there that you coming up to 123,000 share seller? Ask you guys, boom, is right, Dan. I like that. Now, did I confuse anybody? Anybody lost? Anyone Anyone lost here? Did I lose anyone? <laughs> you with me? All right. Who here wants to learn more? Who here wants to learn more? All right. So this is what am I going to do, okay? Because um, we're running out of time. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. So this is what I'm going to do. Cybertrade University, which you probably will never hear from any other school, from anybody here. We're actually endorsed and sponsored by more brokerage firms, exchanges than any school in the industry. And you know what? If you ever are looking to learn from someone or if you've been trained, why don't you ask them? Does Thinkorswim um, endorse you? Does TradeStation endorse you? Does Schwab or Trace uh, or uh, Tasty Works or Nasdaq? You probably will never see this at all. And let me tell you something: you could do all the homework you want. These companies do background checks on us, do credit checks on us. You think that they would want us to do presentations for them if we're teaching people how to lose money? So don't worry about it. You're in good hands when it comes to Cyber Training University because they already done their homework for you. But if you want to kind of read some reviews, you probably would never see someone have a higher ranking in the school industry than Cybertrain University, okay? You want to hear what students have to say? Well, guess what? Here's a, no better place to go than see our, our, our ranking on Google. Now, this is what I'm looking to do, okay? I want to invite all of you to come and join me for a week. I, listen, I was only here for less than an hour. I didn't even scratch the surface. How many of you here would like to see this in pre-market? How would you like to see what happens in the after hours? How would you like to see what happens in the first hour of the open? How about see other traders out there if they're making money doing it? I'm going to invite everybody of you to come and join me for one whole week. All right. Now, we do live commentary from the 9 a.m. to 1030, the first hour and a half of the open. And then we do live commentary the last hour of the close. Those are the two most volatile times of the market. We trade all day long. And we're, the room's open all day long, but this trading room was the first trading room in the existence of the market. I started the first one. So you're all going to be invited to the original trading room. Now, 
Not only that, we do weekly Q&A sessions with gurus from all over. We always invite other pre presenters in there. So if you're interested in learning about options or futures or anything else, we always have some of the most popular people that are very good at what they do. You're gonna, it's going to come with it. Now, this is all it's going to cost, $9. So this is what I need you to do. Take your phone, scan that QR code, or click on that link that you see up there on the screen, and we'll get you registered. Now, some of you here, the first thing people always ask me is like, okay, why is it $9? That's the, What's the catch? There's no catch. You know what the catch is? That whoever registers, I know that you're a real person or not. Okay. I'm not looking for free people. By the way, if you're looking for free stuff, you shouldn't be trading anyway. No, there's no, um, Ron, there's no auto renewal. We're not going to hit you like other people do and say, oh, pay $9. And next thing you know, you hit with a two, $300 at the week. No, we do not do that. No renewals. Okay. Listen, if you do not want to continue with Cyber Trade University, but bottom line, you're wasting my time, my staff's time, and my trader's time. If you don't want to be there, we don't want you there. Okay, you you're gonna want to be there, but listen, if you if I spark your interest right now, come and see what it's all about. Now, this is what we're gonna do. Um, once you register, you're also gonna get my book. Okay, um, with our book, you could pay forty seven dollars on Amazon, or I'll give it to you for free. So it's a good fast read. I think you guys are gonna like. It. I know people like to read books, so if you want to know um, how to beat market makers, it's it's it comes with the training program. All right. Now, this is everything that you're going to get. You're going to get um, three pro workshops, Traders Talk Library. Oh, I almost forgot. As a bonus, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to throw this in right now. You register right now. You're going to get something that you probably never experienced. You're, the first 20 people register are going to get a free consultation with me. I will be, I'm going to pick the phone. We're going to make an appointment, you know, and we're going to talk and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, and I'll be able to answer some of your questions personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I know for a fact, 99% of you never even spoke to a person at a company, more or less talk to somebody, you know, uh, someone that you paid to teach you. Now, you're probably looking at it sold for $9. Like, why would I waste my time? You're like, why would Fausto want to talk to Bell or Dan or Michelle? Because I am looking for traders to be part of my family, part of my team. There's a lot of schools out there that are actually students of mine. I'm hopefully going to teach you so you could teach your family, your friends, maybe even teach your own trading room. Okay. Listen, people go to Harvard, you know, and why? You think Harvard just sitting there to teach, make money out there? No, they teach people and eventually they become successful. And that's why we've been around for 30 years. Okay. And have a AAA rating at the Better Business Bureau and being endorsed by every brokerage firm. But it's, you know what? But I'm looking for serious traders for $9. That's all I'm asking. So take your phone, scan the QR code, or click on that link and get registered. Okay. If, and, and the thing is this if you can't afford to spend $9, you really don't afford, can't afford to trade. You're really not because you want to make a successful career. You're sick and tired thinking that, you know, you, you, you're probably going to get laid off from you. You probably got laid off from your job because someone replaced you cheaper. Or maybe you're about to retire. You know, Social Security is not paying enough. You may save all this money for a pension. You got to, you know, you got to build on it, not live off it. There's no better job than trading. It really is. You see the volatility. You saw what happened today. You see some of these stocks that we traded. But when you look at a stock like Tesla that I showed you, and you don't know where that 120,000 share seller is. And you're thinking that people are watching you? No, you're not watching them. Stop focusing on the past. Because I could focus on the past and make me sound like a genius all day long. But the past is not indicative of the future. So come and join us for a week. Oh, and by the way, just like my staff just said to you, listen, if you after a week, you want your $9, I'll give you $9, but I don't need your $9. Do you guys see what's going on behind me? You see that picture right there? It's not a picture, actually, it's a jersey. That's Michael Schumacher, one of the best Formula One drivers ever lived. I met him because um, we used to sponsor a Ferrari team. You know what that thing cost? I even got a signed champagne glass from him. 
He liked me so much. He goes, Fausto, I like you. I like you so much. He goes, let me sign your champagne glass. You know what that thing's worth with his lips on it? Okay. I don't need your $9. You know what I need? I need traders that can help us all trade together, make money on the team. So if you like what you see and you want to see more and you want to see it live in the market and you want to meet people like you that are successful, here's your chance to do it. So come and join us. Now, um, I see a lot of people registering right now and do a quick little shout outs to all, everyone that's registering. But really quick, before I start um, calling some of the people that that are, are the top 20 already, um, when you register, you got two very important things to do. There's a questionnaire. Please fill it out to your best of your knowledge. Let us know. Do you have a brokerage account? Because if you do, we'll let you know if they have the tools that you need or not. Because some of them don't. Some of them don't even tell you. They don't want you to know because they're trading against you, believe it or not. Um, also, did you take training from somebody? You know, let us know about that. The, how big is your, your trading account? So we know what lets you know what kind of stocks you could trade. Um, and also, then when you go to the next one, you're going to make an appointment. Um, everyone in here is going to get an appointment, talk to our education advisor. We're going to take the time to, to tell you what you're going to see. Um, listen, it's so nice that you could actually physically talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Like for $9, you know what I mean? Like, listen, we're looking to take you seriously. You take us seriously, we take you seriously. But there are way too many people that are losing money in the market. There are too many people that make it sound like you're going to lose all your money in the market because of ignorance. So don't be part of the 90% failure rate. Let's be part of the team. All right. So let me do a couple of little shout outs right here. Um, first of all, we got, oh, Edwin, Edwin Howe. I see you register right here. I'll just show you right here. Edwin has got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Ron Bump got your registration. Thank you very much. Timothy Lay, welcome aboard. Need your champion. I'm just going through my inbox. I'm seeing him right now. Dan Hamilton got your registration. Kurt Schwartz got your registration. Amanda Ali got your registration. Just seeing you guys registering right now. A couple more people just registered right now. Frank. Dasani, Paisan like me right here from, uh, but you're from Ontario, Canada. Wow. Listen, we got a lot of Canadians. 20% of traders are all in Canada from there. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Why you guys are registering? No, no rush. I'm not going anywhere. Seeing everyone just registering right now. Uh, Ro Scott Rogers from, uh, just got your registration. Welcome aboard. We're almost at that 20, by the way. Come on, there's over 100 people in here. Why don't you want to make a small investment for $9? Listen, you got to learn before you can earn. Let me tell you something. The worst thing that could happen to you is that you find out trading's not for you. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. But why go out there, open up a brokerage account, prepare for, you know, to do something and try it and then find out the hard way? It's not worth it. I love teaching people. I love changing your mind. But you got to learn to follow the future. And the future is follow the money. That's all you got to do. Um, let me see. I had a couple of questions here. Okay. A couple of people here are just uh, registering. Um, when could I start? Okay. That, that's a good question. So uh, start. Start as soon as you register. Get, get Register now. Book your appointment immediately and get in there. Okay. Second, I, one person said I'm going to be on vacation. That's okay. Lock in your nine, $9 rate. And then if you want to start on Monday or you want to start when you get back from vacation, you could do that. But you know what? It's fresh in your mind. So register now. Don't worry about like, oh, I'll do when I get home. This I don't know if I'm going to still do this promotion. You know what I mean? Let us give you everything now. Let's get the alerts going on. We're going to send you alerts. Let's get you, you know, be able to watch some of the videos if you're on vacation. Uh, Joel Wessel from uh, Port Charlotte, Florida. He's got your registration too. All right, good. Uh, do I need a brokerage account? No, Z no, no. We do not want you to trade, okay? We just want you to watch, all right? This is a trading room. It's not a teaching room. We have those later. We'll worry about that, you know, after a week if you want to continue. You are just here to see that everything we spoke about is what we do, okay? So no, don't. if you have a brokerage account open running, that's great. But we don't want you to trade. We just want you to watch. 
We want you to meet the other traders, how they were like you and how friendly we are and how we work together. All right. Um, how much money do I need to trade? That's a great question. The number's right on the screen, $9. Don't worry about, oh, I got this size of account. I got this. All you need right now to be successful in trading is right there on the screen, $9. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. Um, Enza from Ontario, Canada, just got your registration. Enza D, just got your registration. Wow, look at that. Looking forward. Great, great. I, I love all the registrants. You guys are going to have such a pissa. You think what you saw here in an hour, you haven't seen nothing yet. Okay. Wait till you start seeing, we start trading in pre-market and we start seeing how all these traders, how we work together and, you know, and how friendly everybody, it just, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to like it. Uh, just showing, look, everyone's registering. I don't know what, listen, we got over a hundred people coming in here. John D. Brand, just got your registration from Carolina. Yeah, look at it. everybody out here registering. It's beautiful. Great. Love it. Make sure you lock in your, your time zone for your um for your appointment. Uh Rosie said I'm working towards trading hours. Rosie, you could still swing trade. You know what I mean? And Rosie, you could you could watch this live on your phone. Okay. Don't worry about it. You could sit there and you could be like, uh, yeah, I'm working. You know, you could be on your phone and do it. It's all we have it down to a science. Listen. You know, I've been through the financial crisis, Hurricane Sandy, COVID. Everyone's been through COVID. Um, I've been through the internet bubble. You're going to come up to another catastrophe. And I don't think anyone here wants to get involved with, for what happened with COVID. How, how, how many of you here got destroyed during COVID? How many of you sold or missed that great opportunity, that rally? There's going to be another one. I mean, hell, we're in a war right now. Who knows what could happen? But you got to be ready for it. Oh, you're a teacher, Rosie. Okay, well, listen, that's great. We got professors in here. We got uh, we got a lot of teachers. So you fit right in, Rosie. You fit right in. Uh, a couple other questions. But but you know what, Rosie, for $9, listen, at least you get the videos. You could trade at night. You can still learn how to do your swing trading. Leah Sun from uh, another person from Ontario, Canada. Just got your registration too. Leah Sun, thank you very much. But appreciate the vote of confidence. Dan H., from, um, I don't even know where that is. Acapulco? Is that where you're from? <laughs> I hope I hope I, hope I mangle that one. Uh, I think the system froze up filling out the survey after I selected a time, Dan. All right, listen, if you have a problem, everyone is registering right now. I mean, there's, there's a ton of you registering. I don't know, hopefully the system didn't crash. But, uh, oh, you're from, you're from Germany, Dan? Okay, good. Um, like I said, you got the number on the screen. You could always call us. Uh, was it, uh, it's, uh, eight, seven, seven, 70 cyber. If you have any, you know, technical issues, you can always call us. We got staff that's standing by. All right. Jacqueline W, uh, Jacqueline W from, uh, Sandy Shore, Texas has got your registration. There you are right there. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, Al, you know what? About in about indices, the problem with those is that you're not you're gonna see a lot of algorithms going on. Very hard to find big iceberg orders. Okay. So listen, at the end of the day, you're here to make money, right? Your goal is we need to teach you how to risk the least amount of money with the high amount of reward. You can trade indices, you can see it, but when we start teaching you and start seeing the difference where you could trade a stock that's a fraction of the cost with more iceberg orders, block orders than trading an indice, you know, or an ETF, you're going to say, well, you know what? At the end of the day, if I had to make $1,000, I'd rather trade this than trade that. And that's where that comes in. Uh, another person, uh, Rosie uh, W. from uh, Quebec, just got your registration. Thank you very much. All right. Any other questions? Wow, you guys had some great questions. And I'm so excited that almost a lot of you registered. By the way, if you didn't register, okay, um, let me just leave off with some people here. Listen, you got to learn from somebody. I know you want to do your homework. Maybe you took a class. Maybe you're in the middle of a class with somebody. Like, you know, let me finish this class, whatever. Let me Remember what I told you. If it's not working after three months, you got 
it's not your style or you got a bad instructor. That basically comes down to it. Okay. Like what, like somebody here, like, you know, you said she was a teacher, you know, listen, you know, as a teacher, you know, you got good teachers, you got bad teachers. You know what I mean? Um, but you got to do your homework. Uh, you got to learn and you, and you got to take a couple of classes from different people and find out what you like, because when you find that out, that you, you get better at it. Uh, who else we got here? Damon Lee. I, I just saw you just registered. Thank you very much, Damon. Damon, you're right here in uh, Columbus Circle, right here in New York, New York. So I can't, you know, I can't, you know, BS you. You know, this is the financial capital of the world. You see what's going down there. You know, it's going to be awesome to get you involved and see what's happening. You know, hopefully maybe you come to our on-site that we have here too, Living Local. We A lot of people from all over the world come there, uh, come here. We're based out right out of Long Island. All right. Any other last minute questions? Yes. So Alex, we do, you can trade crypto. We do talk about crypto. You can trade level four. You can trade futures on level four also. That would be awesome. I know a lot of people like futures, but we do cover options too. But our main goal is we like to see what happens as a day trading, because as you day trade, you'll you'll see what happens as a day trade. And then you could say, hmm, you know what? This looks pretty good. Maybe I want to do a swing trade or maybe I can do an options trade. But it all starts what happens over the course of the day. Um, well, listen, like I said, for everyone here that might have a full-time job, you know, or a part-time job, whatever it is, trading is not a full-time job. Just please keep that in mind. Everybody thinks, this, you, listen, if you could trade once a week or maybe during your lunch break or certain, or maybe after the close, you know, it, it's going it, to, listen, you're going to have to learn eventually. All right. And God forbid there's a big catastrophe. You want to be prepared for it. So it's never too late to learn, but it is too late to learn when the catastrophe hits. So that's what we got to look at. All right, fellow traders. Listen, thank you very much. I got to get ready for my traders. I want to get ready for the close. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm glad that I, I look forward to talk to every one of you that registered and um, just please make sure you book your appointment soon. Talk to education advisor. Let them do your walkthrough. Watch what we're doing in the trading room. You don't got to be there all day. You could if you want, but you could access to your phone, wherever it is. You could better off if you could do it on a computer, but just sit back and watch and have fun. And hopefully we can make you part of our family when we have that conversation. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope you had a great time. And I'd like to thank the staff for making this successful, but we'll, we'll see you we'll see you once we'll see you in the trading room. All right. Thanks, everyone.